The machine inside this vault at the University of Washington could help scientists unravel the mysteries of a baby's brain. It's a magnetoencephalography, better known as a MEG. It records magnetic fields produced by electrical impulses in the brain, giving scientists a glimpse of the secrets of the mind. That MEG brain imaging machine is located at the Institute for Learning and Brain Sciences, better known as iLabs at the University of Washington. It's one of just a few in the, in the U.S. and the only one in the world that is specifically calibrated to study infants and young children. The next decade will be the frontier of the brain. Uh, just as there were revolutions in genetic sciences and there were revolutions in computer sciences, uh, it's now time to understand ourselves. And one of the ways to do that is to examine the unique characteristics of humans and how the brain shapes that ability. The Institute for Learning and Brain Sciences is a unique interdisciplinary institute at the University of Washington that was formed to bring together people from many different disciplines who are interested in the science of learning. There's been a revolution in our understanding of what's happening in the first uh, three years of life. Scientists now think that children learn more in the first three years of life than they ever do again in any other three-year period. Well, our goal in the Developing Mind Project is to make discoveries, to make basic discoveries about what's going on in the baby's brain and causal mechanisms that are involved so we can help children who have fallen behind to catch up and maximize learning for children all over of all walks of life. What's happened in the last decade is that the newest measures can be applied to children. At six months, uh, all of our babies are citizens of the world, meaning they can discriminate all the sounds of all languages. And that's a remarkable feat because you and I can't do it. We have schools of education and we have departments of neuroscience and they don't talk to one another. But we want to go from neurons to neighborhood, from the brains to education. We want to bridge those two, bring them together, and we think we can do that here in the state of Washington.